Hey guys, it's Tane here at Van Fest Day 2 for the AU Review. Welcome to Forbes. Thanks, it's so cold here. Well, you are in a little skirt, a little dress. And I got my tea and I'm just like coughing it. Oh my god, I've got like five layers on right now. You're the smart one. <laughs> I learnt last night. Oh my god, you're lucky you weren't here. Uh, we were staying in parks last oh, night yeah. and I heard the rain. And I felt the chill through the glass of my window. <laughs> I think it got down to like zero degrees at some point. It was so hectic. Um, let's talk about you though. Let's stop talking about the weather. That's such classic chit chat. <laughs> um, I want to get back to the beginning of your career because you were Eve's the behavior before you're Eve's Caritas. Um, but you went to London and had a bit of a self discovery rebrand. How'd you slot into the scene over there? I didn't really slot into any scene, I just okay. was a nobody. Yeah. <laughs> For a really long time, I I don't know. I I think that's why I went there because yeah. I just didn't want to be influenced by people around me. Yeah, and it was all about discovering what it was that I was into and what made me feel something. So that's kind of how it all got rebranded in yeah, a way. Nice. Yeah. Um, and you got to work with a couple of expats like Sam Dixon, who worked with like Adele and yeah. Sia. How did you tee that up? Sam, I met through a friend. Yeah. And we just got along really well he's like my big brother like we have the same sense of humor and just working with him is like one big laugh like the whole day it's just like non-stop laughing and I love that because like when you can make music with friends it's I think the best music you can make oh yeah I think you can feel it coming through it's like when you chat to people on the phone you can hear them smile I think you can feel that in the music right yeah um do you find that those songs that you created and wrote in London are a bit nostalgic now yeah, I think it's getting to that point. Like, it was, you know, two years ago now. Yeah. Two, one, between three and one year year ago, whatever the plural is of that. Um, yeah, 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 two years. We'll, we'll check that in there. You know what I mean? Like, it, it started in 2016. That's when I started okay. writing these songs yeah. up until the end of 27, uh, 20, yeah, 2017. Yeah. And then they started coming out in 2018, so it was a slow progression. But, yeah, it is definitely, like, enough time has passed now that I'm like, would you go back? Yeah, I was just in London last month. Okay. Yeah, I did a, a trip. I was in London and Stockholm, and it was really awesome. You're a jet setter, because last time we spoke, you were in L.A. doing some writing sessions. Yeah, yeah I was in L.A. as well. <laughs> do you? When do you stop? How was L.A.? Was it a success? L.A.? Yeah. I'm not really an L.A. person. Okay. Everything that seems to go wrong when I'm in L.A. Um, what happened? I got really ill when I was in LA. Right, yeah. One time I was there, and the house I was in got robbed. Holy crap! Like when I was home. Yeah, it was. Awful. That's bizarre. How did like talk me through that? It was a Saturday night. I was skyping my mum, and I heard the door open. <laughs> it's like as simple as that. And then a guy came into my room, and I confronted him, I guess, and he ran away. It, oh it could have ended differently. Yeah. Well, we're lucky he left and that your mum was kind of there to bear witness. Um, let's get back on topic. Crazy. <laughs> so you've opened for the likes of Dua Lipa and George Ezra. When you're opening for acts like that, is winning the crowd over and sort of warming them up something you consider in your live sets? I think for me, the most important thing is just being uh, myself. Yeah. And if I can win people over doing that, then that's all I can ask for because I don't want to try and do it any other way yeah wise and I think your live sets are really like they're just positivity inducing I find and you have like such like cool groovy moves is that something you practice in front of the mirror I always think about this when I see you live (laughs) not at all although I would like to say that I I do like Lizzie McGuire the start of the Lizzie McGuire movie that's like how where I cut my teeth (laughs) Oh my god, can we make a remake of that? That'd be such great content. Eves is Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> we just gotta find um what's the guy that she that she meets in Italy? Oh my god. Paolo. That's it, we need to find your Paolo. <laughs> um Alright, so what's coming up for you then? Well I um hoping to put out some new music around September. Okay. Exciting. Yeah. Is there gonna be a little string of shows with that? I think maybe later in the year. Okay. We're looking at it. So Good. If it happens, I hope we catch up before then. Yes. Um, thank you so much for this, Eves. It's great chatting to you. You too. Thank you.